Phrase expansion, okay. How about prototype? You get that? Prototype for a phrase. What's he talking about? Like the basic phrase without any expanded elements. Yeah, basic phrase. Strip it down to its core, and you go. This is how the phrase could have gone. How can I test if I'm if I'm if I'm saying, hey, look, this is this is the basic phrase. If I'm asserting that as an analyst, how can I make that believable? How can I back that up? If you find the actual cadence, cadence the actual cadence point, take out whatever it is, expanding it, and then make whatever came before it link to it, you know, like voice leading wise. Mm -hmm. Good. Voice leading connections, once you've dropped the extra, so we can test it out. If we're testing out an interpretation, um, we can omit expansion. And once we do it, we can see that the voice leading still works. We'll just use VL for that. Voice leading still works. It makes sense. Good, yeah. Now there you're having to pause it. You're having to make a prototype. You're saying this is how it could have gone. You know about prototypes, right? If you've got a car, you've got a new car you want to make. It's really cool. It's got fins on there. <laughs> you've got, you got a big solar panel on top, big collection thing. I mean, you got this new fangled idea. you got this turbine engine. You know, I don't know. Some, some crazy space age thing. You make a prototype and you say, this is what it's going to look like if you're willing to shell out the $2 million to buy this thing. <laughs> they just had a big car show. Uh, where was it? Detroit? I forget. And, the, and they show all these prototypes. Now, you can't go and buy one yet, but they're hoping that they can incorporate some of those ideas into a new car. So they're putting an idea on display. It doesn't really exist, but they hope to. That's what a prototype is here, too, in a sense. You're saying... Here's how it could be in this ideal world where things are all neat and tidy and, and in, its, in their place, you know. If you get rid of all the extravagant under, underbrush that's growing all over, you'll see that we really have some really nice, you know, trees here in, my, in this garden. We just got to clear the landscape a little bit. And we'll, we'll see the basic phrase. We'll see the, the essentials. Now, when we're doing this, when we're creating a prototype by omitting the expansion, it's a hypothetical thing. We're creating it, but we're saying, hey, it works, though. See, the voice leading would work if we just omit all the stuff, basically. You know, maybe there are a few loose ends, but it makes it believable when you can show that when in, when, in the prototype, once you've omitted all that stuff, that it makes good sense. Harmonic progression still works. Voice leading still works. Everything works. That's one way to test it out or to prove it as a... As a potential prototype. Remember middle ground prototypes? You say, okay, you strip this down in a Shankarian way, and voila, you get my prototype. That's another way, too. So middle ground prototypes. You're using Shankarian analysis to say, see, the essentials at the middle ground are all there if we just drop these bars that add this stuff. Remember uh, Wasserflut? Yeah. If we just got rid of over the measures 11 and 12 or something, we could just chop that out of there, and we'd have a nice prototype. Because remember, it was four bars plus six bars. And we could have had four plus four if we just got, gotten rid of the motion to five, and then five going to the, the five of, it was five, six, five, of four, and then seven to minus seven to four. Remember those two bars? Mm -hmm. If we just got rid of that, we would have gone one to four, to five to one, and it would have been a very nice, clean shot at, at closure. It would have worked wonderfully. <laughs> and it would have been four plus four. It would have been very clean cut. That makes it rather believable if you can show that. You omit the extra and show it is extra because I don't need it for this thing to still make sense. And our middle grounds could demonstrate that. You could use the middle ground and say, all the stuff that's inner voice covering 
Uh, getting in the way of how the main voice really needed to run. It's delaying the descent. So, see, we can get rid of it at the middle ground. That's a middle ground prototype. Usually for this sort of thing, where we emit the expansion, we're recomposing. So this involves recomposition up here. You'll emit the stuff, maybe you have to move some register notes from one register to another, but but you're being you're being a composer and saying, here's how it could have gone. And you write out the phrase without all the extras. This says, hey, look at my middle ground. So this is uh, you doing the Shankarian analysis here. You do a Shankarian analysis and say, I got, you know, if I admit this place, I still have all the essentials. And it makes it into a four bar phrase thing. Best yet was better than both of these. There's another kind of prototype that's even better. A literal prototype. What's he mean by that? Oh, we're talking about like, comparing it to a phrase that came before it, like if it's a repetition and then they yeah. add more to it. You say, hey, I don't have to create it. I don't have to do a Shinkerian analysis. All I got to do is point you to measures one through four, and there it is. That's how it could have been right there. A literal prototype means you just you finger it. You go, hey, right here, that's how it could have gone. And he did it that way, but now he's taking that same pattern and he's elaborating on it. That is the most believable. That's the most convincing of all of them because there's no rigging or anything. It's there. No arguing about it. It exists. The prototype is in the score. Okay, so you've got a basic phrase. All the added elements is the expansion. So you have expansion and you have basic phrase. So the basic phrase is the phrase without expansion. You discarded all that stuff. Okay, so now let's talk about different kinds of expansion that you can have. Any questions on this before we go on to ways of expanding? It's important to know this because you're going to have to do that sort of thing. You're going to have to say, here's... Here, this stuff is expansion, and the way you can demonstrate that it's really unessential is you show what the basic phrase would be in one of these three different ways. 